Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. If you're new here, my name's Leia. Love Island the Game 2, Season 4. Yes. Previously on episode 19. Was it 19? Yep. 19. Previously on episode 19. We were at the supermarket grocery shopping for the compatible couple dinner. Compatible couples cooking dinner to win a date in the hideaway. So if I can remember, it was Fabi and Bruno doing the starter. And I think it was Will and Valentina doing the main and then me and Ajuma doing the dessert. So we were in the supermarket the whole episode. So this episode, we should be back at the villa doing the cooking. Hopefully we'll find out who wins that date in the hideaway. I'm hoping it'll be me and Ajuma, but we will see what happens. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Journey to 1K plus subs, 4K plus watch hours, monetization. I would love it to be on my 28th birthday, September 18, 2022. But if not, we are still on this journey. And it'll be thanks to you guys. Comment down below how your season went. If you would love for another season, what would you like in the new season? What did you think they could have improved? Like, let me know. Let's talk about it because this season was not hitting it and I'm not even done with it. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. Love Island The Game 2, Season 4, Episode 20. Let's get into it. All right, Episode 20, Baking and Bubbly. Make the villa's tastiest dish to win a hot night in the hideaway. Let's go. Last time, the three most compatible couples got a treat. A supermarket trip. Will and Valentino will write sneaky snakes and distract the crystal and the Juma to steal their shopping. How do you feel about mangoes? But Crystal saved the day and got them back. My hero. And now there's a trip to the hideaway at stake. Bruno has had quite a journey since coming into the villa. He's made friends, he's made enemies, and now he's making a mess. I feel you, Bruno. Last Christmas, I poured half a tub of goose fat down the sink. They always say this on telly, but definitely do not try that at home. Bruno, how come you poured the porridge down the sink? He pokes the plug hole with a wooden spoon. Nothing budges. I sort of thought it'd just get washed away. Valentina shakes her head, looking at the gooey mess in the sink. It's Bruno's banging porridge. It sets me up for the day. But how do we know you didn't do it on purpose? She narrows her eyes and everyone looks at Bruno. He puts his hands up. I never. Look at me, pure as the driven snow. Valentina thinks Bruno did this on purpose. He wouldn't do that. Bruno's not the sneaky type. Yeah, exactly. When I make problems, I do it by accident. He nods proudly. So the reason you're not a snake is you're incompetent? You know it. You eye up the sink. Whoever's fault it is, we need to sort it out. I can do it. I don't mind getting my hands dirty. He flexes his muscles. I'll be your assistant. She takes a spoon from Bruno and poses with it. Tell me what to do and I'll do it. Will bends down and starts poking around in the sink. The muscles of his back bunch as he strains to budge something. Valentina gets up close to him, laying her hand on his arm. Can I help unscrew that? Nah, your arm's in the way. As water sprays up from the tap, Valentina shrieks. This will take forever if I don't step in. This is a time challenge and we're running out of time. And I can get up close and personal with Will too if I want to. Do I step in and fix the sink? No, I'm okay, don't want to. No, I'll stay back. If I get involved, it'll mean we have more time to make the perfect dessert. And that means we're more likely to go to the hideaway. Do I wanna take charge of the sink situation? No, I'll leave it. You step back and watch while Will pokes the blocked plug hole. 
This is rank. Eventually, with a lot of grunting from Will, the sink is unblocked. Finally, let's get going. You saw through your shopping with Najuma. The other islanders get going on the other side of the kitchen. Najuma hums happily as she lays out the groceries on the counter. Najuma's in a great mood. That's good to know whether we win this or not. Have you ever made a cake before? Of course I have. Kind of. But it can't be that hard, right? We can play it by ear. Najuma wants to play it by ear to make the perfect cake. How do I want to play this? I'm going to remember a recipe. My mind is totally blank. We can start with the strawberries, I guess. Though, won't that make them all mushy by the end? Never mind that. Let's do it. She grabs a huge bar of chocolate and gets grafting. Grating. Grating. <laughs> What's that for? I don't know yet, but everyone loves chocolate. You carry on working on your cake. Over at the other end of the kitchen, Thabby and Bruno laugh at a joke you don't hear. Thabby tries to put sauce on Bruno's face, but he dances back. You can't get me. It's not long before the cake's in the oven. You peer in to look at it cooking. On the other side of the kitchen, Thabby drops a metal roasting tin with a clang. Her prepped vegetables fly everywhere. Oh, fiddlesticks! Let's go and help her clear up. I feel bad for her. Najuma would like us to help Thabby out. Of course. You both stride over to Thabby, who's trying to pick raw vegetables up off the floor. Crystal and Najuma to the rescue. You use a carving fork to spear the vegetables and get them back in their tin. Oh my days, thank you so much. I'll give them a wash and put more of the sauce on them. No one will know the difference. You return to your cake. It's out of the oven now. You wait for it to cool and add the icing. Bruno's phone beeps. I got a text. Islanders, please finish your dishes and leave the kitchen to get ready for dinner. Hashtag TikTok, hashtag dinner dash. We'd better hurry up and get this looking amazing. You drizzle more chocolate over the cake. With a final swirl of strawberry foam, you're finished. Is that stuff expanding? It's fine. Everyone likes eating foam, right? You step back and take a breath. That was intense, but it's looking good. Even if Bruno and Thabby's looks amazing. Will wipes his forehead with a tea towel. I'm covered in stuff that shouldn't even be in the kitchen. I'm gonna go and clean up for dinner. E and Valentina head out towards the dressing room. I'm cooking too, right now. I've got a special guest coming round and I wanna put something together to impress her. You sit at your table opposite Najuma while the other islanders settle at tables dotted across the lawn. Will and Valentina are first up. They come to your table carrying plates. This is toast a la Willentina. Bon happy eat or whatever. Each of you have half a sliced baguette. <laughs> Each of you have half a sliced baguette drizzled with tomato puree. There's a mountain of grated cheese over it. They trot back to their table, leaving you and the Juma alone. Wow, it looks great. You put on the best smile you can. I'm looking forward to it. Cheers, Crystal. I told Bruno it was a good idea. As they walk off, Najuma pokes the toast. From one of the other tables, you hear Juliet coughing. How much garlic is that? Najuma takes a bite and her eyes widen. You try a bite. A wave of garlic hits the back of your throat. Whoa. Why put that much in? Maybe they wanted to stop us kissing? You gulp down some water. It soothes your throat, but the taste still remains. Oh, I should have warned you. She grimaces. I was distracted with this tomato stuff. Is it literally just ketchup? You try a taste. It literally is. Oh, oh no. She puts down the baguette, spilling cheese on her plate. Can I say something spicy while it's just the two of us? If I got this in a takeaway, I'd want my money back. At least there's still Savvy and Bruno's course coming. She looks up as Savvy and Bruno arrive carrying more plates. Welcome to the main course. It's Savvy and Bruno's banging Mediterranean feast. 
The title may be a great big mouthful, but so is the food. Fabby giggles. Come on you, let's leave them to it. They head off leaving you and the Juma alone. The plates are piled with grilled vegetables, peppers, aubergine, pougettes, and mushrooms. Scattered over them are fresh basil leaves. You take a bite and the flavor of the sauce bursts on your tongue. Fabby and Bruno went all out on this one. Oh my days, this is incredible. Najuma tucks in enthusiastically. This is amazing. They're total dark horses, aren't they? Najuma really likes the main course. I love it. You half close your eyes as you savor the taste. When you look back at Najuma, her eyes are very warm. What? I like seeing you enjoy yourself with food or with, you know, other things. Najuma spears a piece of pepper and pops it in her mouth. I didn't expect Thabby and Bruno to be in the compatible group, did you? No offense to them or anything, but I just didn't see it. Are Thabby and Bruno compatible? Maybe they are. I get the feeling that they're really getting on. The question is whether they're getting it on. After you finish the main course, you hand out the helpings of cake to the tables. First up is Will and Valentina's table. The strawberry foams sunk a bit. You shake the strawberry can, then press the button. Bright pink foam explodes out of the can onto their cakes. That's intense. Intense and delicious, like me and Ajuma. At Kobe's table, you pause. I've got a little something to add to your dessert. You place the chocolate spread next to Kobe's plate. Kobe's face lights up. That's so cute, Crystal. Wait. Is this you trying to buy Kobe's vote? She wouldn't do something like that. Oh, wouldn't she? Well, all I have to say is, enjoy. Kobe toasts you with his glass. I bet it'll be great. Once you've handed out all your helpings of cake, you come back to your table. How's this looking? Whatever happens, it was awesome cooking with you. I had a load of fun. Whether we win or not, I don't really mind at this point. You take a spoonful and taste. What do I think of our cake? It's not great. We could have done better. I'm not sure about this. Najuma's face falls. Don't worry, babe. You might find a bit further down that you like it more. You carry on eating your dessert until you reach your final spoonful. You notice that Najuma has almost finished too. Najuma and I have nearly finished. I'm gonna feed her my last spoonful. Hey, Najuma, fancy an extra bite? You hold out your spoon. Najuma grins and licks it clean. Delicious. Her eyes meet yours. And the cake's good too. Your phone beeps. I've got a text. Islanders, it's time to vote on which couple made the best course. The couple with the most votes will win a night in the hideaway. Hashtag bon appetit, hashtag you've got the power. We've got to vote on which meal was best. I want to vote for Thabby and Bruno's Mediterranean Feast. Yeah, that tracks. That was one delicious meal. You send back your answer. The other Islanders have gathered on the lawn. Oi, you two, come and chat. Let's get over there. Well, I'm stuffed. My special guest said my spag bowl was the best she's ever had. Thanks, mom. So really, I should be the one who won the challenge. Shame I haven't got anyone to hang out in the hideaway with. I guess the Islanders will have to have it instead. The buzz of chatter rises over the lawn as you and the Juma join the rest of the Islanders. Here are our lovely dessert chefs. And the cake really was lovely. You sound so surprised. Well, I wasn't sure about all the chocolate when I saw it. The presentation could have been better but it was quite yummy. Only quite yummy? Julia shakes back her hair. I don't like going overboard with positive feedback. How will you develop your skills otherwise? Julia thinks our cake was quite yummy. Yeah, it could have been better. There's always room for improvement, so it's good to know where we can do it better next time. You take feedback so well, darling. Valentina takes Will's hand and squeezes it. Well, I think we all know who's winning this challenge. 
there's a pause. Us, obs, yeah, who wouldn't want that much cheese and ketchup? It was basically a pizza. And no world was that pizza. Sure, artisanal pizza. You'd pay 20 quid for that in Camden. James shakes his head. What a sad little life you must lead, Will. To think that thing was pizza. You're not telling me you voted for someone else. He's telling you loud and clear, love. You're the one that's not hearing it. Angie and James didn't vote. <laughs> Angie and James didn't vote for toast a la Will and Tina. Wise move. I can't say it was the best thing I've ever eaten. Will shakes his head at you. Get out of your comfort zone and live a little. Then you'll see that toast a la Will and Tina's the way of the future. It's the way of the dustbin, if you ask me. Don't get me wrong, I don't know what I would have done. My chip buddies are basically my specialty. I'm not one for making fancy stuff. I'd probably have ended up making a pizza like Will and Valentina. I can't believe you would wound me this way. When we're coupled up in everything. Angie snorts but looks amused. What did everyone think of the grilled veg? I hope it was okay. Babe, it was gorgeous. I could have had thirds of it. Fabi grins, ducking her head bashfully. Well, there's still more in the kitchen. A lot more. We maybe went a bit overboard. James phone beeps. I got a text. Everyone gathers closer to hear what he's saying. Islanders, in third place is Will and Valentina. Will and Valentina groan. I told you we shouldn't have that much cheese. That was the only bit worth eating. In second place, Fabby and Bruno. Fabby gasps and grips your hand excitedly. In first place in winning a night in the hideaway, Crystal and Najuma. Hashtag T for two, hashtag dishy. I'm gonna be honest with you, that's rigged because how is everyone sitting here saying that Fabby and Bruno's dish was amazing, but yet me and Najuma went? I'll take it though. <laughs> I'll take it, but yes, Najuma picks you up and spins you around. We won the challenge. Get hyped. You shriek as Najuma keeps spinning. Winner, winner, cake and dinner. I can't believe we won. Najuma puts you down and you stumble against her a little. It's hideaway time. Crystal and the Juma are the lucky islanders enjoying the luxury treatment tonight. Don't break the bed, guys. We've only got the budget for one. The Juma pauses in the doorway, eyes wide. This is incredible. She takes a running jump and lands headfirst into the pillows. She rolls onto her back, stretching out like a starfish. Come on, join me. I have to get changed first. Okay, okay. I'll turn my back so it's a surprise. Time to dress up. I should go all out since it's hideaway night. All right, now we're back to picking pajamas. I haven't picked pajamas, I think, since, what, the first episode? So let's see what we got here. That's cute. So we're in the hideaway, fancy. So you know we want to look good and spicy, right? I mean, I'll be honest, none of these really are screaming spicy to me. So I think I'm going to choose this pink number right here because it's cute. I like it. So I'm going to choose it for 10 gems. And yeah, we're looking pretty. You strut over to the bed where Najuma is waiting. Look at her little cherry PJs and her little star bonnet. <laughs> what do you think? Najuma's gaze drifts down you, then back to your face. You look incredible. I mean, you'd look amazing no matter what, but right now you're perfect. You slide under the covers beside Najuma. Do I cuddle up or keep my distance? Cuddle up. Watch out, incoming. You fling your arms around the Juma, drawing her close. Hmm, lovely. Your faces are nearly touching, but not quite. Today was wild. I had an amazing time cooking with you. 
It felt a bit like we were a couple out in the real world, you know? Would you have done anything different? Would I have done anything different in the challenge? No, I'm good. You stretch feeling the softness of the sheets. I'm fine with how it went. Good, I'm glad. It was a wild ride, but we got here in the end. The Juma lowers her voice. It got me thinking though. People seem to think we're one of the most compatible couples. And after today, I feel the same. I'm having a good time being coupled up with you. The Juma thinks we're compatible. I feel the same. Being with you feels right. Whatever happens down the line, I know that much. That feels so good to hear. Her gaze drifts down towards your mouth. We're away from everyone tonight. You look amazing in that outfit. But would you like to slip out of it? Would I like to do bits with Najuma? Of course. Oh, I was hoping you'd say that. Najuma's smile is bright and sunny. You wrap your arms tight around her, feeling her warmth spread to you. I'm so glad we're together like this. Me too. With your fingertips, you softly guide her chin until your lips are almost touching. Najuma's hazel eyes twinkle with excitement and mischief. You both close the distance at the same time. The kiss is just a little messy but warm and passionate, a promise of what's to come. Najuma's hands are on your hips, pressing you to her. Your fingers tenderly run along her arms. You're so beautiful. That's my line. As your hands journey towards her shoulders, the little tattoo on her left arm catches your eye. It looks a bit lighter than the other ones, a little faded. What's the small bat tat about? She hesitates for a bit and you look at her, encouraging her to continue. Back when I was little and my mom was still with us, we lived in a flat on the top floor. One day, something flew in through the window and scared the living daylights out of me. When my mom came running, it turned out it was just a little lost bat. We had a whole family of them under the eaves. Well, mom thought they were super cute, so she taught me a lot about bats and their habits and everything. Sounds like you had a great mom. Yeah. Najuma's wearing a sad little smile. You tighten your arms around her, but the next moment she beams at you. It's all good. This is happy stuff. Plus the tat suits my whole queen of the night vibe. I can't deny that. Ask me about another one then. Which tattoo would I like to hear about? Let's go with the zombie head under her elbow. You lightly kiss Najuma's forearm right below her elbow and she rewards you with a little shiver. This one's in honor of my favorite metal band, Copper Zombies. They used to be a bit underground, but Seb and Nikki's podcast made them half famous now. We should go to a concert someday. Anytime, babe, especially if we make a night of it. I'm counting on that. While you're bantering, your hands go back to exploring. She draws close to you and nibbles at your ear, playful chuckles slipping out between bites. Her spicy perfume tickles your nose. She smells so nice and she makes me feel so good. You let a fingertip trail along the Juma's collarbone, slowly caressing the delicate skin of her chest before squeezing gently. Ah, Crystal, that was an unfair move. Her eyes narrowed and her lips parted. She watches you and her hands seek their own revenge, lighting a fire across your skin. The touch makes you shiver. You both arc towards each other, seeking more. I love your boobs. The Juma loves my boobs. Wait till you see every other part of me. Mm-hmm. Is that you giving me permission? What do you think? I think I'm going to try and find out. Her hand grabs the nape of your neck. Your fingers thread through her hair. You both shift until your mouths meet in another kiss and you throw all pretense out. You throw all pretense of control to the wind. Your lips and tongues seek each other, sometimes meeting, sometimes missing, all of it making heat flare through you. Reaching for Najuma's stomach, you caress its warm softness, feeling it tense under your touch. She repays you in kind. Then both your hands start roaming further until you find a sweet spot. Mm-hmm, yes, crystal. But just as your legs start trembling, she breaks away, leaving you cold and wanting. Let's mix it up a bit. She pulls away from you, her movements like a slow dance. 
Soon, she's reclining on one arm, her head thrown back, inviting you towards her neck. Her fingertips run along her lips, falsely coy, while mischievous little flames dance in her eyes. Come, your majesty, your throne's waiting. My throne, hmm? Don't mind if I do. You playfully trail kisses up Najuma's body, slowing down to peck her lips and her forehead. Then you shift above her until her smile disappears and you feel her breath on you, hot and full of promise. You close your eyes, brace yourself where you can, and let everything recede, except the sensations Najuma sends through you. The two of you continue exploring each other for a long while until you're both fully satisfied, finally coming apart with a blissful sigh. Najuma opens her arms wide and you curl up in them, nuzzling into the twist of her hair. You're the best. No, you are. You trade happy smiles and enjoy the tenderness of the moment. Najuma sighs happily, then yawns. Would you like me to stroke your hair going to sleep? Do I want Najuma to stroke my hair? Mm, yes, please. Najuma carefully reaches out and pets your hair. That's making me sleepy. So, most importantly, my dinner with mom was the best it could have been. And I guess the Islanders did a lot of cooking too. It's a good thing they filled up on toast a la Will and Tina today. Cause tomorrow is a new day with two very special surprises. New people. Meet the brand new Islanders next time. All right, so that was episode 20. <laughs> it was good, we won, me and the Juma won the date to the hideaway. And as you could tell, it got a little steamy and nice. We bonded, I got to know a little bit more about her her tattoos and what they meant. The bat one, the story that she gave was nice. And the zombie one, it was nice though. Got a little closer to her. The dinner sounded great. I don't know about that first course that a la Will and Tina thing. Dabby and Bruno sounded like their dish was good. I thought they were gonna win, but you know, the game is geared towards main characters. So they gotta rig it here and there for us. <laughs> But yeah, it was a decent episode. I enjoyed it. I liked it. It was nice, sweet. And i gonna be honest with you guys, I'm going to film the next episode right after this. So catch you. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Join the fam. Journey to 1K plus subs, 4K plus watch hours, monetization here on this channel. Maybe thanks to you guys. So subscribe and... See you very soon in the next episode.